Hello everyone, Dylan here. So I just want to say before I end this video, Tromix was our number one favorite reactor. Come on guys. Come on, he was our number one favorite reactor and YouTuber ever in the reaction community. And now since he's not doing YouTube anymore, maybe I will become the new Tromix. Who knows? Who knows? But... I took this clip from the live stream yesterday, I think it was, or two days ago. I think it was yesterday on April Fools. If it's the second, you take it. Yeah, today's the second. Yeah, so yeah, the live stream from yesterday. It's me reacting to Charmix's last video. Well, not last video, but last two videos on his channel. I thought that that. Since yesterday was April Fool's that he might upload something else saying, oh, I pranked y'all, uh, don't worry, I pranked y'all, it was all a joke. But no. I think we could finally admit he is done with YouTube. He is done with YouTube. <sighs> So yeah, anyways, for those who didn't see the clip or my live stream from yesterday, I have it after this clip. So enjoy my reaction and Charmix will never be forgotten, will never be forgotten, even though that he's saying that he wants to be forgotten. Come on, man. You will never be forgotten. You will always be in our hearts, man. Rip Charmix. <laughs> LNG. Alright. Um. So we're going to be reacting to Charmix. If you didn't know, he's quitting YouTube. And I did not react to it yet. This might be a video, so make sure you say hi in chat. Or uh, say hi YouTube. I don't know some crap. Alright, there we go. Now it's um right. Do you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Hear me? And Everyone put out Charmex is quitting YouTube. And he just got a million subscribers too. Thank you. This is my last video. I'm gonna watch all of it. The problem is, I think it's just YouTube itself. Is it? Is this an April Fool's joke? Well, like, wait. Chat. Look. He only has two videos on his main channel. So he he's probably what is quitting. Up, guys? I'm sure. He's probably quitting, and no and no one's uh, joined yet. Eh, whatever. Uh, let's see. All right, we're gonna start. I'm just sending it to anybody. 
that I could. didn't know he's my brother Matthew all right let's see let's react to Charmix's last video this might be a video um, on my main channel me reacting to his like What is up you guys, I'm Charmix, and this video and this is going to be too. my second last video. Now, I'm making this video because I wanted to say thank you all for everything that you've you know done for me over the years and for sticking with me over the years that I've done YouTube. And it has truly been an amazing journey and you guys have made my life worth living and I wanted to thank you all for being with me. And uh, I kind of want to make a little video explaining why I'm quitting before my actual final video. Now, my actual final video, I should clarify, is um, if you guys don't know, I'm a Christian and I'm re quite religious. I don't talk about it in my videos, hmm. but I feel as if it is my duty to at least talk about my faith as my last video. So that's what my last video will be. But for this video, I just want to you know, say thank you for making my life hmm. worth living. And I wanted to uh, kind of explain what has driven me to this decision. The main problem is, I think it's just YouTube itself and the changes that have come onto this site over the last few years. Like, if you guys weren't aware, I've been dealing with a lot of, um, uh, especially recently, it's gotten really bad with, like, community guidelines, strikes, and crap like that. And this stuff all happens behind the scenes. I don't mention it in videos, but my videos are getting hit, and these are videos that I've done years ago. I have no clue Same. what's in them, and I can't even go and review these videos that I've done because they're blocked now. Because once they get a guideline strike, the videos get removed, so you can't even go and review it to fight it. Like, one of the videos was like child endangerment. This is one that happened recently. It was a video, it got dinged for child endangerment. So I'm like, okay, let me go, like, I can fight this, but I have to find out like what happened in it. So I go and try to review the video. Well, I can't, it's been removed or blocked for people from viewing it. Now, if you were to block just, you know, viewers from viewing it, that's one thing. But what, when you block the actual creator from viewing it, I can't fight it because I don't know what actually happened in it. So I don't know if I'll be wrong if I fight it or not. Like, it's ridiculous. The system is so stupid and it gets worse and worse every year. I've had enough. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Like, I don't know where I'm going to go in life after this. I've achieved everything that I've wanted to achieve in life. So I'm kind of, I don't know, I feel like it's just, I feel like I'm just done. Like, I, I have no reason to continue. And I know that sounds very sad, but you know, I've lived a relatively full life. I've accomplished a lot and that I, I don't think a lot of people will accomplish anything similar to the amount I have. And I don't, you know, I don't mean to brag, but no, I've, I've written a book. I've produced apps for phones. I've, you know, made a video game for computers. You know, I've done all these things. Uh, you know, had a channel that hit over a million subscribers. I've had multiple, multiple channels, you know, hit over a quarter million subscribers. Like I, I've accomplished enough where I don't feel like there's a point of uh, continuing. No, that sounds sad. <laughs> but you know, that's, just, that's just where I am right now. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I don't know what's, uh, what's down the road for me. But I know that my journey on YouTube, at least as a creator ends here. Now, I plan on deleting all my videos if they haven't already been deleted. I do not want people <laughs> uploading them or re-uploading them. The reason for this is because I want to be forgotten. I want to, you know, I don't go outside because of my paranoia of being recognized. I don't do things because of paranoia of being recognized. I want to be forgotten so I can go outside and I can live life without my paranoia getting in the way. I hope that makes sense. And I, I know some people will be upset at me for deleting the, the videos. And, you know, I apologize to them or to you if you're upset. But I want to live a normal life. And it's, I find it very hard to do that when I'm paranoid of getting recognized, paranoid of so many things. That's why I've made this decision to delete these videos. And uh, I want to thank you all for being with me on this journey over the last many years. And I, and I don't know what I'm going to do next. You know, I might go live in the woods or something, but I want to thank each and every one of you for making my life, 
you know, worth living. Because before YouTube took off, I was, uh, you know, in a very dark spot. And although I can kind of feel myself slipping back to that kind of spot, if I hadn't, you know, done YouTube or had YouTube, I don't know where I would be. And it's, it, it wouldn't be in a good spot. All I know is that it wouldn't be in a good area. But I, I know now I am, you know, over the many years, I've definitely developed more talents and skills and... I'm definitely in a better spot mentally than I was before, but um, yeah, so I think that explains everything. Tomorrow will be my last video, or maybe I'll post my last video after this one today. I don't know. I don't know. I'm crazy like that, man, but uh, I hope that explains everything. You know, I'll have one last video coming out where I'm just going to be talking about my faith. You don't have to watch it. I'm going to be block comments and likes and all that stuff. So yeah, that's basically it for the, the video. I just want to thank everyone for sticking with me over the, the many years. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh no. Video. Here it is, the last Bye -bye. video. <sighs> we will never forget you. We want to check his other channels first. My last video. Last video. Well, he didn't. He did, doesn't even post on that one. All right. Let's see. This is my last video in the thumbnail. No sig. Okay. <laughs> anyway. What's up, you guys? If you are seeing this, that means it is my last video. Now, this part right here that you are hearing is actually kind of like an update to the original video I had planned to upload as my last video. Basically, I had this crazy feeling that I was going to die, you know, within two days. So I started panicking and I made this video. And I still want to get this video up, even though, you know, it's been months since I actually recorded the part where I thought I was going to die. So obviously I have not died. Wait, but he said it's been months since he, he recorded? What? Nonetheless, Wait, what? this is my last video, if you are seeing this, and I still want this to be uploaded, so that is why you are now seeing it. I hope that gives some context, but yeah, this is my last video. And the reason why it's my last video is either, one, I actually have passed away, Honestly, yeah, no. or two, I've just gotten fed up with this website. Because it's really gotten bad on oh, here both. in terms of, you know, what you can and what you can't show, what you can and what you can't say. I feel really in a box, if that makes sense sense like i can't express myself i can't say things i want to say without you know without being in fear of it damaging the channel so i i have honestly just had i've had enough so either that has pushed me we all had enough quitting or and I've look at us away. now and now that, that still... has been said here is the part that i filmed a few months ago for those of you who don't know i am a i am a christian and it is you know it's my mm -hmm. duty to spread the word of god and to teach other people and i figure since i have somewhat of an audience i should do that so as my last video that's what i plan to do so if you're interested i um i encourage you to stick around but basically all i want to ask you is you know do you know where you're going when you die because like just think of consciousness just think how crazy it is that you are YouTube aware heaven. of who you are you're aware of everything just this complete consciousness just Try to understand that. It's so mind-boggling. And then think of artificial intelligence and AI. And you see how far we have come? And yet AI, artificial intelligence, still hasn't reached the singularity. Which, if you don't know what singularity is, it's when artificial intelligence becomes conscious. And there are the smartest people in the world working on, you know, artificial intelligence. The smartest people. And yet... Artificial intelligence hasn't become conscious, but humans are conscious. Well, what does that tell you? That obviously means that there is a God. Like, if you have the smartest people in the world working on something and we can't get it right, how do you expect a big bang? How do you expect just a random act to create consciousness, to create life, to create something that the smartest people cannot create? 
that right there suggests a level of intelligence much greater than us. I mean, we have the smartest people in the freaking world working on artificial intelligence, and we can't get consciousness. And yet you and I have it, what, by some random act? Like, that's just crazy. So, um, you know, I'd like to ask you all a question. Has anyone ever, you know, taken the Bible and shown you how you can know for sure that you're going to heaven? Well, the Bible has some bad news and good news for you. And the bad news is that you're a sinner. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. No one's perfect. Your thoughts, your actions, you know, they're sinful. Just even one thought. You know, one strike, you're out. And the penalty of sin is death. You know, suppose you worked for me, and I paid you 50 bucks. That $50 is your wages. That's what you earned. And, you know, the wages of sin is death. And you sin, you die. But the good news is that God sent his son Jesus to earth to die for you to take your place. That way you can be with him. And I know a lot of people don't even believe that Jesus exists. They will just think of the date. We are in 2018 AD, after death. And, and when people say BC, it's before Christ. Obviously he existed. The Bible says that Christ took the penalty that we deserve for sin, placed it on himself, and died in our place. Three days later, he came back to life to prove that sin and death had been conquered, and that he is God. Because if he didn't come back to life, he, he, he could have been just a random person, right? And you can get saved just by believing that he did that for you. It's just faith, not by actions, it's just faith. You have to depend on him alone to save you and to forgive you. It's just as if you were to sit on a chair, you trust it to hold you, through no effort of your own, you trust solely in the chair. In the same way as with your sins you trust Jesus to forgive you and him alone so if this message you know touched your heart in any way I definitely encourage you to ask Jesus to forgive you and yeah that's basically it but I want to thank everyone who has been with me on this journey it's been a blessing beyond all but uh, yeah anyway all right I'm curious if he's gonna upload today because today's April Fool's if not today, then we all know that he's done. Wow.